know, thank you for checking out this video. As you know by the title, I've got two new aquariums. The one you see behind me replaced my main aquarium and I've also got a small tropical setup as well. So I hope you stick around and let's take it up. We will start with the main aquarium. But first I'm going to cut to some footage from the day that I got it, so check that part out first. So this is the new aquarium I've got. Jude Aquarium Vision 180. 92 by 41 by 55. So now I'm going to get it out of the box and get it set up. There's the old aquarium emptied. Got to give it a go clean and then get it out of the way. Put the new one in place. So there's a new aquarium on the cabinet. Black cabinet with three doors. Now I'm going to get the background on, give it a wash out, and get it set up. So that was a bit of footage from the day this aquarium first arrived. I really love this. I did originally get this to go in my tropical setup, but when I got it home and put it in, it was way too big, so I thought I'd keep it for this one. And there's only Asbo and the other two moors and this little one here in this aquarium. All the other fish in the pond, which you will see a video of me doing that pretty soon. Just got to edit all the footage first. But yeah, they're enjoying their new life in the pond. So I've got lots of room in this aquarium to add some more moors or whatever I choose to put in here. I didn't keep much out of my old aquarium, apart from my dinosaur fossil, which I absolutely love. And one small plant, which is this one here. Everything else is new. I really love those large plants at the back. I'll show you the whole aquarium. It has three doors, which I mentioned earlier, and they need wiping down because I haven't done it yet. In fact, I will show you the boxes of the plants I've got in there. So that's that one there, uh, Zen Garden. I just wanted to go with something different for the new aquariums. And then I've also got this one's of the larger ones. So I actually bought three of these because I've got one in my tropical setup as well. But they're really small plants. As you can see, they look really nice. Asbos settled in quite nice. I saw the little ones. Well, this is a very smart aquarium, I really love it. So that's a large one. Now let's check out the tropical one. So this is my new tropical setup. It's a two-foot aquarium. I've been on the lookout for a small aquarium that I like for quite a while now. And as soon as I seen this, I had to get it. And I just love the shape. It's just such a smart tank. And now I'm going to go and get some fish to go in it. These are the first fish for the tropical aquarium. There's four females and four males. Beautiful fish. 
That's put them in there. And we'll leave them there for a bit. Okay, now it's time to put them into their new home. I just fed them twice and still looking for food. <laughs> but I'm not going to put no more in yet. I'm in here, Caden. He's Caden. Come on in, I'm in here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> come and see the new fish. There they are, look, they're looking for food still. But I think I've put quite enough in for now. Oh, and they're lovely. Yeah. Can we get this one off? So as I mentioned earlier, I got four females and four males. The next fish I want is at least 10 neon tetra and two corridora catfish. And I think that's all I'm going to put in here. What? Hello. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again? Yeah. Well, you're hiding. <laughs> In a minute, I'm doing the fish first. These are really beautiful fish. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed checking out my new aquariums. Thank you so much for watching. Please check back for the next video. Bye.